So we're going for Sonic Unleashed, but if I don't get an S rank, the video ends. Let's get this started. Radical, wake the hell up. Your video just started. Alrighty, we're on to the first stage, and this is actually one of the hardest stages to get an S rank for. It's probably the first stage, but with this stage, you gotta be very good with, uh, you gotta get a certain amount of rings and, like, have a higher score in order to get an S rank, because if you do miss a lot of rings and you don't have a higher score, then you're not getting an S rank at all, which, I mean, it's pretty challenging. I mean, that's how the game is with S ranks, I mean, which I like. Because you gotta, you know, do the stage a lot more better in order to get it. But I mean, that's probably like the reason Sonic games now. Like, S ranks were like pretty easy to, you know, obtain. Like, especially generations and even like frontiers. Like, generations, like, you can, like take hits or even die once, you can still get an S rank, which is kind of, you know, pretty, uh, too easy for me. Let's see if we have it here. Um, let's see. New record. There we go. S rank. On to Act 2. I want to challenge myself, so we're doing Act 2-2. And, you know, this is one of the DLC stages. Yeah, this game had DLC. And, you know, a lot of these are, like, you know, harder versions of existing stages. And, like, there's some new stages there, too, added as well. But, I mean, with the original stages, like, they, uh, plastered a lot of stages, you know, with bombs, missiles, you know, a lot of enemies everywhere. So you gotta be, you know, like, very careful, too. Like, all like this, like, spikes right there. There's a bomb right there, and like, you know, enemy, well, they were there in the first original Act 2, but I mean, yeah, like, there's a whole bunch, someone in the development team must have loved Spikes, like, cause they plastered this stage, a lot of these stages with Spikes, and it's actually crazy, and it's actually hilarious to see, you know, like, the Spike placements and, like, all that stuff, just seeing how this piss people off, but yeah, I like to say this a lot, I mean, on the first time, you know, it's very difficult, but, you know, once you, like, get used to a resign, it's pretty good. And plus, you know, I got an S-Ring at most of them, too, which, I mean, still, I mean, there is some harder stages in, you know, DLC, like Dragon Road Act 2, Dash 2, and, like, you know, the Shamar, oh my god, the Shamar ones is horrible. And, you know, well, you got a lot of good stuff, you know, like, the Wimba Isle stuff, the Run stuff, you know, Empire City, also enjoyable, Apatha, like, you know, a lot of good stuff, and, like, adds more ability to, you know, the game. Well, that's if you have money to get DLC for, which is perfect, and, yeah. So you have to be careful here. Oh, it's actually normal here, so no spikes or anything, well, like that. I don't think it's there in the original Act 2, but be careful there. Okay. Like, spikes right there, like, oh, bombs in there. Not spikes. But yeah. Okay. On to there. Do that. Let's be dash. Okay. QTE time. There we go. Success. Let's see. Spike there! Oh, damn it. Okay. Let's see. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. And there we go, another S-Rank. That really paid off pretty well, so... On to the next stage. I don't know if we're going to Missouri at all. So we're going to go for uh, Spagonia here, so... Oh, so there's another deal to stage 2, so keep that in mind. So, uh... Damn it. It's actually one of the best uh, ones out of the entire uh, game, DLC-wise. Because, I mean... It took a really fun stage and make it even more fun. Well, for me, at least. Because, I mean... There's the usual spike and, like, bomb placements. But none, even then, I mean, it's still a really fun stage. In my honest opinion, I don't know how you feel about this DLC stage, but yeah. Okay, be careful there. Alrighty. I moves boost too, like, quickly too, because, like, there's, like, rarely any rings or, like, enemies take down. There's, like, bombs on the rails too, which is insane. So, QT's section right here. Here comes bombs and spikes are here. Go. Eh. Eh. Be careful there because the spikes there. <clears throat> Alrighty. Dash. Alrighty, on to the skydiving section. So already put a whole bunch of spikes here. Floating spikes actually too, so let's see making here. And there you go. Got it there. I mean it's not that you know hard to get through that uh 
for a hole. That's if you have uh, enough patience. And all these bombs. Oh, missiles everywhere. <clears throat> okay, drift here for more boost. Oh god. And got the little uh, not shortcut, but it's okay. Okay, spikes right there. Oh my god. Okay. Go. Enemies over there. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That shortcut is, uh... Not available now because, uh, oh my god! Oh, come on. Oh my god! Come on, man! Oh, man. Okay, finally! Finally did it. And it's like the uh, lower path, you gotta be careful though, it's those annoying as hell! Enemies! Come on, there we go. Okay, wait for it, there we go. Got that. Okay, oh my god, these freaking creatures. Go away! Question mark. I mean, whatever. Where else do you go? Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. X. There we go. A. Bingo. This will, uh. mini boss section, so. Oh, I. pop on the barrel too soon. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Oh, you just like, you know, see enemies here, you just boost for them and they uh, get destroyed. Or they come back, but I mean. Usually, once they uh, run out, it's all good. Okay, I doubt we get the X rank here. I highly doubt we get one because uh, we die like what? Five times already? So, we'll see. Anything, you know, that's at least below, uh, S is fine. Can't win them all. Well.